I recently I published an article about a Harvard study that was done over the course of 40 years. And basically what they did was they took tissue uh, with live cells and fed the cells everything that the cell needs. Our cells need oxygen first, water second, then nutrition, and our cells need to be able to eliminate waste. So what they found over the course of 40 years that by providing the cells with what they need, the tissue did not deteriorate. They stopped the study after 40 years. I guess they didn't see any changes and they concluded they didn't know how long that tissue could live. They said, well, maybe hundreds of years. We don't know. So I found that very fascinating because does that really give us the formula for the fountain of youth? Well, None of us live in a laboratory vacuum. We are exposed to toxins and chemicals in the air, in the water, in the food. We experience stress in our lives. We are now exposed to and bombarded with radiation from cell phones, Wi-Fi, security systems, microwaves, on and on and on. So we have this a uh, constant barrage of really negative things that affect our cells and specifically affects our cells because these negative influences slow down the blood circulation in our body and especially in our capillary system which is not really influenced by anything out in the world except for one thing and that is the uh, bioelectric magnetic energy regulation medical device that I represent. That's proven, scientifically proven with medical studies, backed by years of research, physical evidence with real-time video showing the influence of this signal on the blood circulation in the body. Now, does that mean that if you use this and everything else is perfect, that you'll live forever? I, I can't, that's a whole separate topic as to whether we're intended to live forever. I don't know that. Um, I'm inclined to believe that that's not our purpose but that's a whole separate topic. But I do believe that we're intended to live vibrantly with a lot of health and energy for a very long period of time. And we're not. Our life expectancy is becoming shorter. The quality of life is becoming worse. The rates of incidence of sickness and disease is increasing. So I come back to the Harvard study that says if our cells get the oxygen, water, nutrition, in that order that they need and are able to process the elimination of waste, then that cell is going to re reproduce itself as to another healthy cell. And when that happens, we regenerate ourselves in a very healthy way. So if you are um, older than 40 or 50 or 60, I can tell you that the rate of blood flow in your capillary system has slowed down. So when we're a young, healthy person, and that's an operative word, healthy, we have a lot of young people that are no longer as healthy uh, as they could be. But assuming that they are a young, healthy person, that rate of blood flow is somewhere between 30 and 50 times every 10 minutes. By the time someone is 55 or 60, that rate of blood flow can be as slow as one time every 10 minutes. So what does this device rep that I represent do? It begins to accelerate the pace of blood circulation through the capillary system back towards where it was when we were young and healthy, younger and healthy. So, so what does that mean? Does that mean that I'm gonna wake up next week and look like I'm 18? Well, that, that's a very interesting idea. I don't expect that to happen, but what I do expect to be happening is the longevity and the vibrancy of the organs in my body began to be much more uh, youthful, much more uh, operative as to where they were when I was younger. I do expect that because I've seen that happen on the real-time videos that we have from Germany from a $30 million piece of equipment where you can literally see into the body. Now I have this stuff. 
All you have to do is contact me. I'll send you all this detail. You don't have to believe me. I have a whole research summary report that allows you to do as much due diligence as you want. This is really, really exciting stuff. Don't believe me. Do your own research. See for yourself. The medical research is there. The science is there. The video is there. The links are there. It's incredible. So all you have to do is send me an email with your email address. Well, your email. If you email me, I'm going to have it. Steve Pollitt, P-O-H-L-I-T, at gmail.com. Or text me, 727-224-4743. Again, this is 20-year-old technology. But the technology that we're using today, the latest version came out in 2010, which means we only have about seven years of experience with this latest technology. Now, within that seven-year period, we have some interesting observations, especially with infants. And I can tell you more about that when we connect. Really, really exciting. There's a couple other final points. There's nothing else that I'm aware of in the world that can influence the blood circulation in the capillary system. But there's nothing else in the world that I'm aware of that not only influences the circulation in people, but in pets, including horses, large animals, small animals, and agriculture. That's life. Life has circulation. And this system has a positive influence on life. Steve Pollitt at gmail.com, direct 727-224-4743. Be at peace, be happy, be well. Thank you.